Yes, thank you. state-regulated final expense insurance plan that's going to cover 100% of your funeral, burial, and cremation expense. Are you between the ages of 50 and 80 years old? Yes, I am. Have you ever been diagnosed with any major or minor health issues like high blood pressure, diabetes, dementia, or even cancer? No. Okay, this is just to confirm if you qualify for an additional discount. How old are you? 68. Okay, so all is done here and it's time for me to show you the information. For that, I'll get you connected with one of my supervisors and he will provide you with all further incremental details. All right? Okay. How's the weather where you're at? Just fine. Hello. Yeah, hi, good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm fine. All right, well, my name is Mark Smith. I'm with the U.S. Funeral Expenses. I believe you do understand this call is about a new low-cost state-regulated final expense program that will cover 100% of your funeral, burial, and cremation expenses. So would you be interested in this coverage for yourself or for your loved one as well? Oh, uh... For, for both of us. For both of us, okay. So now, before we go over all the state-regulated programs you qualify for, I want to go briefly who I am, what I do, and all the plans and benefits you qualify for, and then you can tell me what to do next, okay? Okay. Now, I'm the state-regulated benefit coordinator for the state of Michigan, and what that means is that I'm actually the routine maker who will help you to identify all of the disc discounts and benefits you qualify for. All the plans that we will discuss today will be approved by the state, and we have a percent of acceptance ratio, which makes us the best among the other final expense companies in your state. By the way, there are a few centipede discounts which you may be eligible for. So are you living in the state of Michigan for the past 12 months? Yes. Okay. You born and raised here, or you just moved here? Well, I've lived a lot of different places. Um, I haven't always lived here. Okay. So how long you're in Michigan? About uh, 17 months now. Okay. And in which state you were born in? I was born in Idaho. And are you a smoker or chew tobacco? No and no. Okay. And are you currently employed or on a fixed income like a social security or disability? Yeah, I'm retired. Okay. And lastly, do you use a traditional bank, a credit union, or direct express card? Uh, is that like a... What do you, like the card, like the Google cards? I don't have any of those. If you want Google cards, no, I don't I'm have any for you. Google. I'm not 
talking about the Google card. I'm talking about the bank account, like a check-in account, savings account, debit card, direct express card. Well, what's Do this? I don't know what that card is you're talking about is. I have bank accounts, but I don't have card like that. Okay. What kind of bank account do you have? Just the regular stuff. Like a checking or savings account? Not like a checking or savings, more like a checking and savings. Okay. Okay, perfect. And what's your street address? 24500 and Hastings Arbitorium Trail. Uh, Butt Crack, Idaho, 83287. No, you have to give me your Michigan address. Well, do you want where my bank is? My bank's in Idaho. That doesn't matter. I need your residence right now, wherever you're living right now. I need that address. Oh, okay. 215. South High Gander Boulevard, uh -huh. Detroit, Michigan, four eight two two six. Four eight two two six. Okay. The normal chair. All right. Okay, perfect. You definitely qualify for some discounts. So now uh, all the other insurances, this policies also depend on a few factors such as age, health, and medication. So I'm going to ask you some basic questions to get you the best coverage, okay? Okay, sounds now, what's great. What's your first and last name? I didn't tell you my name yet? That's fine. I thought I did. No. Oh, okay. First name is Harry, H-A-R-R-Y. Last name is spelled B-U-T-Z. And do you need my wife's name? No, not, I don't need your wife's name. Well, I, I want her to be included in this too. Okay, first we'll talk about you, then I will ask about the information for her. Oh, great, great. And Harry, what's your date of birth? 626-1954. That makes you 68 as of today, right? Yeah, all year. Okay. And what's your height and weight? I'm 6'2", 190. Okay. And pounds, not kilograms. I don't know what you're used to. Pounds, I said. Yeah, pounds. We definitely talk about the pounds. Okay. And what's the name of your primary doctor, your physician? Uh, Dr. William, W-I-L-L-I-A-M. I got that. J dot, or J, this is middle initial. And last name is spelled B U N. G H O L E. All right, just give me a moment here. The doctor is in Michigan, right? He's in Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. You need his, do you want his address? No, no, that's fine. I've got it right here. It's on my, All right. it's on my bottle of Viagra. It's got his address. No, no, that's fine. I don't need the address. I just want to know the name of your doctor. Well, so Harry, I'm going to ask you some health related questions. So you just have to. Some what? Some ventilated persons? What? 
I'm saying I'm going to ask you some health-related questions. Oh, that's not even Just close to what I heard. Yes or no. Yes or no. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. All right, go. So, are you currently hospitalized, confined to a nursing facility? Whoa, whoa. Paid Slow paid down, paid buddy. Slow down, mister. Slow down. What's the first one again? Okay. Are you currently... I'm saying, are you hospitalized? No. I'm not hospitalized. In nursing wait, wait, say that again. Confined to a nursing facility? No. A bed or a wheelchair due to the chronic illness or disease? No. No. Okay. Currently using oxygen equipment or receiving. No. Or what's after or what? Receiving hospice care. No. Okay. Do you currently have any form of cancer diagnosed or treated by a medical professional? Or do you require assistance with activities of daily living like bathing, dressing, eating, or toileting? Okay. What was the first one again? Something about... Cancer, no cancer, and yeah. then after that, what was next? You uh, do uh, need any assistance like bathing, dressing, eating. Well, slow toilet. down, slow down. Uh, bathing, no, I can uh -huh. take a shower by myself, no problem there. What was the next one? Eating, uh, well. My wife does all the cooking, so I I don't cook. Sometimes I'll make a sandwich. Do you like a good ham sandwich? Sometimes I'll make a sandwich. All right, all right what was after that? Okay. What was after eating? My wife picks out my clothes. She picks out, she buys my clothes and she puts out what I'm going to wear every day. All right. Okay. And do you currently have Alzheimer's? But you know what? When I was a little kid, my mom did the same thing. So I don't really see how that's a problem of letting your mom or your wife pick out your clothes. I don't know why you would even ask about that. Just I want to know that you need any assistance or you're doing everything by yourself. That's why I ask you the question. Oh, okay. And do you uh, currently have Alzheimer's, dementia, mental incapacity, ALS, liver failure, what? What was... respiratory failure? Oh, you're going too fast for me, Larry. I don't... I know you said Alzheimer's, no. What was the other one? Capacity. Mental incapacity. I don't even know what that means. I mean, I, I under, I kind of, I know. Like, I'm mental. I'm not mental. Like, do you have any, do you have any, uh, like, brain problems or something like that? No, I used to be a rocket scientist. You know that? Okay. And what about the liver failure? What about it? I don't, you're talking about my liver failure? I don't, where did you hear I had liver failure? Who's saying Sir, these things about me? Who's saying these I'm things about me? My liver is listen, just listen, listen. fine. Did you talk to my doctor about this? I'm just, Why would he tell I'm you and not me? Asking you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, sir. You have a wonderful day. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ben Jode. Have a nice day. Hello? Hang up. Hang up, Ben Jode. Well, I'm hanging up on you.